Hello, and uh, I'm back with another issue with another internet streaming service on my Roku One. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at Amazon Instant Video. They have a Netflix-like uh, subscription service that I don't currently subscribe to, and, uh, and you'll also see why I won't be subscribing to it, even though they've got some good stuff on it. Uh, they've also got uh, a la carte... Uh, purchases and rentals of other movies and TV shows. Uh, and I see that the, they have recently added this annoying feature, which to me renders it completely worthless. Uh, it certainly ruins the movie for me. So uh, if they don't stop doing this right away, I'm uh, not only am I not going to subscribe to Prime like I was considering, but uh, I'm also not going to buy or rent any movies through them anymore. Uh, let's show you what it's doing now. I've got it at the end of the movie here. Uh, this is the director's cut of Riddick, and hopefully the copyright owners won't be too mad if I show like uh, the last five seconds of, of the of the shot here. But uh, yeah, we've we've got we have we got a pretty heavy ending here. You know, he's looking out the window, and you know, stuff's happening. Uh, so let's unpause it and uh, and see how this plays out. And yes, they do deliver Dolby 5.1, which sounds pretty good. But look at that. Fades to black, and even before the first credit rolls, they've got this crap coming up on the screen here, uh, saying, showing stuff that I've watched uh, previously and or uh, they think I may enjoy. Now look at this. Okay, yes, I did rent the Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga thing because it was free. And these are things it thinks are similar to this movie. First two movies in the series, and but seriously, uh, you know, you know, if I'm paying to watch this movie, I do not want this crap coming up on the screen. Uh, yeah, I can hit a button to turn it off, but it's already the, the ending has already been ruined. Uh, you can't stop that thing from popping up, and uh, you know this is just ridiculous. And see, they've, they've even, uh, they, they didn't even put any music over these end credits because they want they wanted this movie to end in complete silence. But uh, this crap popping up at the top, at the bottom of the screen there just ruins it. Now, again, I can hit a button here and turn it off. But uh, as I said, the damage has already been done. Uh, and if I didn't hit that button, it would just stay there uh, till, till the uh, end of the movie. Uh, so now I'm going to bring up a TV show and uh, show you what uh, that's doing. Here's another example. Uh, this is a true crime show um, that they had for free, so I picked that up. Um, now wa watch, watch what they do here. We're at the end of this. Hopefully they're not as tight on copyrights as uh, movie studios are. But yeah, it's a true story about a girl who got murdered. Really sad. But let's just keep watching here the screen actually goes to black for a second there while they bring up that crap and then put it back up and as you can see this even if you don't care about watching the credits I mean there's still stuff going on here I don't know that this case would have been solved totally completely inexcusable Seriously, they could not have waited for the end of that show to put that stuff up there. Now, on broadcast TV, they do that, and that's that's. If I don't, I don't pay for broadcast TV, so I'll uh, call that just a minor annoyance. But on something I'm paying for, like Amazon, again, that that episode, that particular episode I got was uh, free. But uh, if I wanted any others in that series, you know, I would pay for them, and uh, I don't want them interrupted with that. Okay, so now we're at the end of this anime series, and uh, they left the end credits of this alone for the most part. Uh, but the show ends with a preview of what's uh, to come on the next episode, which uh, I don't have in my library, but uh, watch what happens. So far, so good, but keep watching. 
Okay, and now see, they're going to show us what's uh, coming up in the next episode, but uh, Amazon has overlaid the screen with uh, some gray, so the whole picture is darker. And then we have this next up thing here. And normally there would also be a countdown clock on there telling you when the next episode was starting, but uh, since I have not purchased the next episode, and I've also disabled autoplay, so it's not going to do that. But uh, still, that is, uh, that's not acceptable, and I'm not going to buy any more episodes if uh, they're all going to be like that too. And then if I hit the Ender button on my remote, uh, it's going to prompt me to uh, buy the next episode. But I am... <laughs> Uh, seriously, they want $24.99 for the whole season, which is about what a DVD or a Blu-ray box set would cost. And I'm not going to pay that much for something that's just streaming, and it's going to be broken into with uh, uh, telling me what I want to watch next and stuff. So uh, hopefully someone from Amazon will actually watch this and realize I am super pissed about this. Uh, I get pissed about a lot of things, but things that I'm paying for, uh, you know, you mess with that, you, you've really got me angry. Uh, as it stands, if uh, this, this continues, uh, I, again, I'm not going to subscribe to Prime, even though I was planning on it, but also I am not going to use Amazon for renting any movies. You know, I'd like to use them instead of Vudu, because Vudu is owned by Walmart, and uh, uh, Voodoo was actually pretty cool before Walmart bought them out, but uh, yeah, I can't go to Amazon if they're going to be doing this to movies that I'm going to pay to watch. I uh, certainly am not going to buy any. I, I don't really like to collect uh, media in this way anyway, uh, for various reasons, which I think I've discussed earlier, but uh, yeah, uh, so... Anyway, I, I have some really choice words I'd like to say, but hopefully uh, whoever's behind this will just at least get a slap on the wrist and uh, give us the option to turn this annoying feature off so we can watch our material in peace. Thank you.